Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my stop on the Kendra's Card Challenge and Sheetload of Cards Collaboration Hop. I hope you'll stick around, find out more about the hop, see what I'm going to create, and learn how to go and see all of the other artists who are sharing today. A new year brought a special collaboration between myself and Kendra of Kendra's Card Challenge. If you didn't already know, this month we are sharing sketches. For my January 2024 printable, I am using the Kendra's Card Challenge number 12, Sketch 5. And instead of showing you how to make lots of different cards like Kendra does, I show you how to make nine cards using that single sketch. For Kendra's quarterly challenge, KCC number 13, she is using some of her own sketches and she has incorporated some past sheet load of card sketches. Using six by six paper, she is gonna show you how to make not six, not 12, but 15 different cards. If you haven't yet downloaded her free printable or mine, there are links in that description box below. Each of us have a fabulous team of collaborators and some of them are joining us here today to do a special hop. You're gonna see a mix of sheetload of cards and Kendra's card challenges as you hop along today. I'm super excited to hop along and see what everybody else has created, and I hope that you are too. To see all of the videos in the hop, there is a playlist down in the description box for you to click on. That will bring up just a one-stop shop for all of the videos. You can also try out the hashtag in the title to see them as well. Let's find out what I'm going to be working with today. Not only does Kendra's printable show you how to cut each of your six by six papers, but on each of the individual sketches, she also gives the dimensions of each piece. Well, I'm not gonna make all 15 cards today. Instead, I'm gonna use the dimensions and maybe make a few cards and I'm gonna use sketch number 14. I am going to switch it up a bit, just like Sheet Load, you're free to make these sketches your own. And instead of having a cardstock for that large back layer, I'm going to use a pattern paper. With these skinny strips, this would be a great one if you had lots of scraps. I am going to go ahead and cut, though, into some brand new paper. I wanted to make some New Year's cards to send to my channel members this month, so I have chosen some photo play papers from their Ringing in the New Year line to create my cards with. For my focal point, I got out this not too shabby stamp, which I think was from um, late 2022 or maybe early 2023 called New Year. And I really like down here, have a sparkling New Year. These little champagne glasses match the pattern paper. And I thought it would be fun to do a little paper piecing with this kind of bubbly paper and those glasses. As I get into the process, I will tell you about other products and tools I use. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. Just like with a sheet load of cards, I'm gonna start by cutting the pattern paper. For this, I rotated the confetti piece and cut three panels that were four inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. The first two are going to be the background for my cards, and then that third one I cut into strips that were one half inch tall. And now if you look at the printable, the strips that Kendra gives you are different widths, and some of them are even wider than four inches, but I decided I was going to make it work, so I just cut eight strips out of each pattern at that size. Here's a look at all of the pieces cut, and now I'm going to divide these up just so I know which pieces go on which card. While I work on getting the pieces for each of my card kits, I thought it would be a great time to tell you about a special giveaway for this hop. Kendra has generously donated a free digital download to one lucky winner. Check out the description box below to find out more and get a link to the giveaway form. 
Once I had all of the pieces distributed, I started to put the card fronts together. Now because you do have to cut off that excess from around that four by five and a quarter inch panel, I did start with putting the strips on there before these go on card fronts. I took the two inner strips and I try to get those at the same angle and then the outer ones I put about halfway between the first strip and that corner. Then all you have to do is trim those off and that card panel is done. Here's a look at one of those all trimmed up. I continued adding those pattern paper strips to the remaining five card panels. For these though, I did more of an assembly line process. I put on all the pattern paper strips and then went back in and cut off that excess overhang. I did finish most of these off camera and while I was off camera, I also prepped some card bases. I use black card stock and I have a top fold card and on the inside I added a piece of white card stock so you could see my personal message and I used some of those scraps, punched them in circles to decorate that. I just love to go ahead and use up those scraps now and add a little extra prettiness to the inside. The next thing I did was bring in my ATG and I added those front panels to the front center of each of the card bases. If you're enjoying today's video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would take a minute to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. This way you'll be the first to know when I have a new video posted. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The final element my card needs is a focal point. Off camera, I die cut and stamped six white cardstock ovals with the Have a Sparkling New Year sentiment. And I also die cut six scalloped ovals to go behind it in a pink just to match the pattern paper. The focal points aren't quite ready, I do want to do a little paper piecing. For this I brought in a foam pad to help with the stamping and I got out a piece of scratch paper from the recycle bin just to catch excess ink. I got out a clear stamp block for this and I did make sure that if I put my sentiment at an angle that both of the champagne glasses were still on the block for stamping. And then what I'm going to do is try my best just to ink up the area where the glasses are because I don't need the whole thing. And then I stamped those, cut them out, and glued that onto the white oval. I just love the touch that adds and brings in those bubbles from the pattern paper. Here's a look at all six of those finished. Since the card fronts were pretty flat, I did want to add a little dimension, so off camera I added some foam tape to the back of each of the oval focal points. I pulled that release paper and got those placed onto the card fronts. And here are some close up looks at all of the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I used sketch number 14 from Kendra's card challenge number 13 to create six New Year's cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to hop along to the other creators who are sharing today by clicking on that playlist link in the description box below. I know that everybody would love for you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.